Now, Mickey's Toontown first opened 30 years ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. So many of our listeners have grown up making memories in this incredible land. But I think we should share an overview of what Mickey's Toontown is because we're probably going to have a lot of first timers coming to visit. So let's start in. Let's start there. Let's give an overview. Yes. Does that sound good? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Yes. All right. So Mickey's Toontown is the neighborhood, the colorful, vibrant, larger than life, and in my opinion, super nostalgic land where Mickey and his friends live. In my opinion, I think it's nostalgic because '90s kids like Greg and I. Yes grew up coming to Mickey's Toontown, and now we're able to bring our little ones to this newly reimagined land. And like I mentioned, there's, and you mentioned as well, there's uh, homes where the characters live. There are three attractions. We're actually in one of them right now. Mm -hmm. And dining options and play spaces for kids. Yeah, what I love about this reimagining of Mickey's Toontown is the little ones, the kids can really lead, they can discover. There's so much, every nook and cranny of Mickey's Toontown is something that is interactive or a place that they can crawl under and explore. Yes. And it's really just a great place for families to be together. Everything is really mm -hmm. thought through. This is not a land that's just for kids. It's really for families where, where you can be together. And what was really interesting to me that, that stood out is the land is curbless. So it makes it so convenient for strollers for wheelchairs for um for electric uh, vehicles and there is also a companion bathroom which is so Ooh, helpful yes, when you have yes. little ones mm -hmm. uh, and then i'm also a huge i love the water bottle refilling stations i feel like they're <laughs> yes, like yes. one of the best kept secrets around the disneyland resort yes, yes. Um, and they have two here and they're in really convenient locations so you can stay hydrated on especially on the hot summer days absolutely yes. yes yes now speaking of hot summer days i know there is like a bit of a flourish when you first come into Mickey's Toontown. Yes. And it's Centennial Park, Park, right? Okay. Yes. So Centennial Park is one of the first places you see when you walk into Mickey's Toontown. It's going to be on your left-hand side. You're going to see the Dreaming Tree, which is actually inspired by Walt Disney's uh, childhood. Okay. It pays homage to the Dreaming Tree in his uh, home in Marceline, Missouri. That's where he would go to daydream and imagine. And that is a wonderful new addition to Mickey's Toontown because it adds shade yes. and also there are roots that are larger than life that children can play go under go oh. over jump do you know anything that they want and also another feature of centennial park is the uh, fountain mm -hmm. it features mickey and minnie mouse and what's so great about this too is that it has water water uh, spaces for kids to play to explore little water tables and they're at varying varying heights. Okay. So uh, kids of all ages, um, heights can explore there as well. Yeah, there, there's. It feels like there's so much more shade around Mickey's Toontown now too. I mean, there's just so many quiet spaces for families to um, to be able to take a break or to have fun together. It is so nice to have open space, mm -hmm. just yes. so you can but still feel like you're in the park and it's still an exciting area yep. to do. But having little ones, it's great to have like open space where they can just run around and yeah. play in water and take yes. a break. Yes. Now, there there are a lot of interactive areas mm -hmm. in this yes. new space, which is really nice. So I know that we got to tour the space yesterday yes. and we loved Goofy's house. Yes. I think that was yeah. one of our favorite places because... The nostalgia part, but I know you guys are going to deep dive into that. Let's let's talk a little bit more about these play spaces and some of the things that guests can experience when they come and revisit Mickey's Toontown. Yeah, I I love like you mentioned Goofy's house. I was so excited about this. I loved the um, I'm I'm on the taller side, so I yes. didn't get the chance for Goofy's bounce house before it was reimagined to spend a lot of time there because I was they had a, a height limit, and if you were too tall, you couldn't go in. So. Um, I was so excited with with Goofy's house. Now it's been reimagined to be. Um, if you've seen around the parks, Goofy's Candy Company. Mm -hmm. This is one of the places where he makes the candy. So he has his candy contraptions around, so you can actually help him make that candy. Um, and it's great because parents and kids uh, of all ages can go into the house and help with that. And Again, as a 90s kid, a product of the 90s, I am so excited that they're wrapping Max into Goofy's story. Yes. So um, oh. I, I, 
nerded out about the uh, photo of Max in his Powerline costume up <laughs> in, in Goofy's house. And, um, and then if you continue outside, you, uh, you go into Goofy's How to Play yard. Mm -hmm. And this, I like this too because it gave a nod back to the Goofy How To shorts um, from the 40s and 50s. And there are all kinds of interactive, colorful places to play. There's um, a sensory sound garden. And then they also have uh, slides that have rollers. So everything, what's so brilliant about this space is it's very well thought out. It's very accessible. There are ramps even to access the slides down. Um, you can play in Fort Max. And then there's a, uh, if, if you've seen a Goofy movie, there's a, uh, a Bigfoot area as well. So where he calls the Bigfoot to stand yes. right there to capture the Bigfoot into yes. the net. Yeah. Okay. So we talked about Goofy's house. Yes. But there are some other houses mm -hmm. in, the, in the neighborhood. <laughs> yes, yes, there are. And these houses, these homes are some of my favorite places in Mickey's Toontown because they're so um, nostalgic for me. Yes. Some of my earliest memories at Mickey's Toontown are in these homes. So you have Mickey Mouse's house, mm -hmm. and this one is a self-guided, well, both of them are self-guided tours. So you can take your time or, you know, get go through it as fast as you can to <laughs> meet your favorite character. And when they're home, you'll be able to take pictures with them. There's a Disney photo pass photographer there. They'll sign autographs. And something that I really loved about Mickey's house in particular is that it is a longer queue. Yes. So you can really take your time there. If you have a little bit of time, you're, you know that your, your child really likes to look at these details, mm -hmm. you can go through that one. And there is a, like, a little theater, kind of like the queue in this ride, Mickey, in Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, yeah. where you get to see a little... A short, a cartoon short. So you get to see one before you go in and meet Mickey Mouse. And that's just a great place to kind of unwind, decompress a mm -hmm. little bit. And that was one of my favorite places in the in his house in particular. Yes, same. I love that. And the room is like, it's kind of dark a little bit. Yes. So if your kid really needs a break and they yes. need just a break from all the sensory, yeah. that, yes. you know, enhancements that are happening, that was like, I loved when we got to that little room. I was like, oh, this is so relaxing. Yes. <laughs> right before we see the big boss, Mickey yeah. Mouse. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Which I think we should talk about. Yeah. Well, yeah. And speaking of the big boss, I mean, we have we got to, I, I was excited to meet Pete, too. I mean, this was like the new <gasps> oh, addition that I was so excited about. And Clarabelle yes. as well. You know, they don't have houses here in the neighborhood. I'm mm -hmm. thinking they just probably live another neighborhood over, yes. is my guess. Yes. But, <laughs> um, but I was so excited about Pete. That was, yes. that was so great to be able to see him in person. Yes, was it was. Surprise. It was so great. And I, I know, so we, we got to see Pete walking around. We got to see Clarabelle mm -hmm. walking around. Mm -hmm. And one of the cool things, I think, about Mickey Mouse here, mm -hmm. and I think we talked about this yesterday, is his outfit. Oh, yeah. Right? This it's, is yes. a, yes. Yeah. So he is wearing a unique outfit. He's wearing his comfy outfit. And this is the only place that you'll see him wearing that outfit. So, that so you cool. can take a photo here with him. Um, in that outfit and know that you have a photo, a very unique photo with Mickey. Yes, yes I love that. We get to come see him just lounging about. Yeah. Like he's just like us. Yes, yeah. just like <laughs> us. Yep. Yes. Okay, so we have the relaxing houses of Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Yes. And then we have across the street, a good mm -hmm. friend Donald mm -hmm. has yes. his own space too, right? He does. Yes. And this is another one of those areas in Mickey's Toontown that is larger than life. It is a big boat and there <laughs> are balance beams, little uh, flowers that are you. the children are able to go into, spin around. Mm -hmm. And also there is going to be a water feature. So it's kind of like a splash pad. Yeah. If you know that your child will want to play in these spaces with the water to bring water friendly shoes. Oh yeah. That is so smart. Yeah. Just come prepared. Really. Yes. yes. And I, we love that little space. We walked past it a couple of times. It's yeah. just so cute. I'm like, I cannot wait to see little kids just running around in that little area. Mm -hmm. I was so excited that they brought in. So they have some little interactive moments with Huey, Dewey, Louie and Webby. 
Yes. So I grew up watching DuckTales, and my son absolutely loves the the reimagined show DuckTales as well. Mm -hmm. And so it was so cool to see not only Huey, Dewey, Louie, but I feel like we don't get to see Webby in the parks, and now mm -hmm. she's here. So now she is. that was really cool. I love that he has, so it's Donald's Duck Pond. Yes. yes. And that it's all themes to kind of like water, sailor-esque, yeah. because yeah. it yes. is Donald. It's Absolutely. so cute. Yeah. So Very we fitting. get to see... Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and Webby in yes. the portholes. Yep. Yes. And then you'll, what I loved, I, I saw Daisy Duck just on the front of his boat mm -hmm. because of course she is. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So the theming of everything is just so wonderful as well. But I love that everybody gets to just have their own little space, yeah. which is yeah. really cute. And there is seating there as well uh, yeah. that yes. we saw too. Yes. So there's, there's, <laughs> there's lots of seating all over Mickey's Toontown. And I feel like that is a huge... Um, I, I love that about about the reimagining. Yes, and we love that little space because way in the back we saw that it was a shaded another mm -hmm. yes. shaded area. Yeah. Yes. yeah, for parents, which yeah. is really nice too. Yes, yeah, definitely. Oh my goodness! And yeah. One more thing about Donald's Duck, Duck Pond. Pond. Sorry, yes. it's a lot. Yes. <laughs> very very fancy for yes. a fancy man. <laughs> yes. Another thing about that is that it's right next to Goofy's How to Play Yard. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's also that it's also enclosed, mm -hmm. and that's. That's also really nice because you can take a little load off, watch your kids, and and you know feel feel great that they're in a nice, safe, enclosed area. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know what? That's a good segue because as we're talking about it, it, it was so nice to just be welcomed back into their homes, and it was really exciting to kind of see that um, some of the things didn't change. Like you still had the little those little bits, and I love yeah. listening to the two of you experience that because yeah. you're like, oh, that's the same. Oh, that's a little yeah. different yeah. or that got painted and yeah. it was just i could hear the kid in you yes. kind of yeah. come yeah. out which is really nice 